Alrighty, so uh, we are back in wonderful New Orleans. It is the late January of 1961, and this year's Mardi Gras, which is gonna happen in February, promises to be a fucked up one since pretty much every black uh, social organization is calling on their members and all people of color to boycott those and, uh, you know, interfere with the uh, festival. Which is, of course, immediately pissing the Toreador because tourism is their goddamn fucking thing. And this is not cool and the prince should do something and what the fuck is this crap? Meanwhile, <laughs> the tensions have been rising for several years and, uh, well, the vampires have finally noticed with the Toreador making a big stink about it in one of their parties. So, uh, that leads us to picking this back up. So, uh, why don't we go through where each of the characters that, well, each of the regular, I'll get to you that in a second, would be on a, uh, Ordinary January night. Emmy. Most likely Elysium, personally. Same. So in Gangrel Elysium. Top of bless. We have the best Elysium around. Uh, uh, is my tower ready? Uh, your tower would be ready after, even with a mild delay. When the tower quickly changed hands to a new person who somehow decided to keep the project going exactly as it had been. Oh, so yeah, I would be at my tower. Okay. And, uh, well, you would have been able to find out where you would need to go once you arrive in New Orleans, sad so. Would you be going to Lysian first, or to the Prince? Uh, I'm gonna present myself to the Prince. Righty. Then... We can use this map for it. Ah, King Gator is still there. Most excellent. Hail to the place. Indeed. <laughs> You see more gators power. appearing. One of them shifts into the Archie. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what if, was that Archie's sire? <laughs> Consistently in front and forth. Archie has like they eight gold gator. gators. <laughs> they say that the gators are the true power behind the throne. Yes. Uh, yes, they always I'm have been. I'm I pay my respects. <laughs> okay, uh, you may drag yourself onto the map, and you probably would have called ahead, so I think Bacon would have the to have any of the NPCs that he wanted there for this to be there. So would you be inviting anyone else to this presentation meeting? Uh, I would have one of my crews with me, if you want... Uh... What? Uh, which one is the one with guns? I think that was... No, that's not Donald, was that Donald? was William. Okay. I would have at least William nearby, at a, a point of view, so he could shoot him or anything. And I would do my usual uh, power show of just uh, cleaning my sword. <laughs> 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 so, when you walk into the uh, meeting hall, I want you to uh, give me a perception alertness roll to see if you notice the ghoul with the ready gun hiding uh, on the balcony oh, behind boy. one of the columns. <laughs> Wits alertness, right? No, right. Uh, no perception alertness. Or perception, right? Da, 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 da. Uh, 
Uh, you can just count on the... Uh... Okay, here's the thing. We have macros prepared for this, so you can just go over and enable them and use those, and then you just input the amount of dice and difficult. And it'll be way faster than faffing with the ones on the sheet. Cool. Uh, yeah, you do notice a hint of movement up there. I'm pretty sure there's at least one person there keeping track of you. The prince is behind his polished table, just casually running a oiled cloth over a broadsword. Looks sharp! Pretty sure you see just a tiniest hint of flame dancing around the edge. Awesome. So, I think what the prince would be seeing is an individual in an all-white suit approaching him. Right. He just glances at you. Having been acknowledged, he... begins to say uh what would be what would be the actual way for my character to greet himself in this situation like what would he be he's like who how would be you have common uh, sense we generally yeah, exactly. rule that we can't help you without common sense but he does have i do common have common sense. sense so yeah uh generally yeah. you want... would try to be polite and respectful but the yep. prince probably has seen all kinds of vampires not all of them with a great deal of polish so you're probably gonna be okay as long as you're saying things that make him happy as opposed to you know worrying too much about how you're saying them there is one important piece about introductions with new vampires uh generally they are supposed to give uh information on you know, who knows them or where they are known so that the prince can, you know, cross-reference, oh, this person is from this line or knows this person, get in contact with them, make sure their story matches up, shit yeah, like for that. For simplicity's sake, we're going to say that it's been established that Mitchell has, you know, said that he has met in passing this dude and he, you know, like, yeah, he's another one of my clan, essentially. Okay. Yeah, that works. Then he should be fine. <clears throat> uh, Prince Allen. I have come to the city to request permission to establish myself. I have been informed by uh, Mitchell Warner, fellow clanmate. I'm sure you understand. You, I'm sure you know. And he has informed me that this city is very receptive to my kind. And uh, from what I've heard from your reputation, um, it quite precedes you. And I find that to be very alluring. Uh, okay. Give me a charisma roll at seven for uh, sucking up to the prince. Or manipulation if you yeah, don't basically. actually mean it. Uh, given my character's history, yeah, I, I do mean it. Yeah, you don't have etiquette, so it would be. Yep. Mm hmm. For those of you who might be watching this later, Sad uh, did rearrange a few things on his sheet afterwards, so it might not be exactly as it was when we created it, but... Uh, just a quick question, as uh, he might not know about this. May he spend a willpower point to uh, avoid the botches? Because botching at the presentation might not be the best thing. Yes, in uh, V20, 
I'm pretty sure by default as well. Uh, a willpower success cannot be cancelled by ones. And at, it guarantees that you will succeed on at least a bare minimum level. Generally. Uh... I suppose I'll spend the willpower because I think my character would not. This is kind of important, <laughs> you know. No biggie. Yeah, I so, I yeah. would uh, I would just uh, you know recommending it because uh, the introduction botching could be really bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sure, I uh, I spend willpower before <clears throat> I do my roll. So, all right, here goes nothing. Did great. Bacon. Nice. He truly appreciates your greatness. Is Metaseria active? Uh, yes. Uh, about two-thirds of what he said is bullshit, then. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounded good! Uh, I mean, you heard... It's, My uh... prince, I have heard the tales of your fights, your battles against the Zamitsi. They were quite thrilling. Yes, quite so. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't really <laughs> give a fuck, Bacon. <laughs> I think that two thirds is actually a good number. Usually they are probably just full of bullshit. <laughs> At least he has some of some part is honest. <laughs> good start. He's not completely lying. And he also yeah. was fairly impressive on how you know his introduction went. Yeah, but yeah, he has a good pass. Oh. Uh... If Micho, well, and uh, if Micho can uh, assure the, uh, about your existence, uh, I will be uh, happy to inform you that you are welcome to my city, as long as you don't create uh, any troubles and remain loyal to the Camarilla. Of course, my prince. Uh, okay, so are you already planning to? Take the sheriff's place at this point, or has that not occurred to your character yet? What? No. Nah. But Definitely, all... I don't think yeah, yet. <laughs> <laughs> if it came to him that fast, that is some ambition you have, my friend. He is a La Sombra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And actually, <laughs> yeah, given your nature. I find it hard to believe that he wouldn't be planning to cause trouble, actually. Well, within reason. I mean, come on. Okay, Bacon? Yeah, he promises not to. He's lying. What is he lying about? Uh, the of course, I won't part on not causing trouble. Uh, well, I think seems... my character is would probably not want to cause trouble, like at least not to anger the fucking powers that be. Uh, no, well, one really of the powers to. that be is the sheriff, and apparently you are possibly going to cause trouble for the very minimum. What I meant by that is the <clears throat> the elders. <clears throat> Again, the sheriff. <laughs> I... How is your intelligence? Yeah, it's. It wouldn't be a strong hit, but you would know yourself well enough to realize that some of what you probably are going to do is probably going to be interpreted as trouble. Well, I think at this point my character doesn't... Well, I think at this point my character doesn't really know much about the city, so I'm... I don't see how my character would be, like, already planning his moves. Yeah, It's not planning your moves, it's, uh, uh, you see Bacon can tell when people lie. Uh, so, with you intending to try and take over the sheriff's position... Well, not even necessarily uh, the sheriff's. Just trying to carve your way into a position of influence is gonna step on a few toes. It's not like he's necessarily planning to aim for a specific position, or he would know how much trouble he's gonna cause, but he can't promise that he's not gonna cause any trouble and be completely honest establish at point. the city, whatever that means. Which, you know, I mean, I guess it depends on Alan takes it. Okay, we're going to yep, go with this. that is the big thing. How does Alan take it? Yeah, he's, you can tell that he's not completely honest. It's like a kind of thing. We'll go with that. Huh. 
Uh, it's decent. It's just one more that I have to take uh, care of. I hope that it brings trouble to the Gangrea or Malkaven okay, to me. But... Of course, my friends. Uh, as you he's say. not talking to you. <laughs> I don't say that, but you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, if do you know the localization of uh, Mitchell, or you wish to uh, know where he lives? You could also stay on the ventral part of the city, and be if you will be identified as one. With your permission, I will uh, stake out the city and see exactly where I want to set up. Of course, in the areas yep. you described, you know, specifically. I'll take some time to basically stake out exactly where I want to be, and yeah. Uh, ju just off of character, did he give me his name? I don't remember. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. He would have presented himself as, the name is Wolf. Abraham Wolf. Uh, could they roll politics to see if I know anything about this guy? Um, yes, you can. It's, however, gonna be a nine because he's not that old, and he's not. He's essentially at the point where you might know about him. Nope. I'm an enigma. Uh, I probably know something bad of you. No, it's more along the lines of you think he's... I mean... Eh, probably just a nobody. Nothing to exceptionally worry about. Yeah, just one more loser. At least he <laughs> can show himself. <laughs> Look man, he gave me only 6 EXP, alright? <laughs> Look, man, Cut me some I've done a lot with that. <laughs> You've yeah, done a lot with 60 40. is plenty if you know what you're doing, and you don't have a bad build at all. Uh, well, uh, I do allow you to go around the city. Uh, I will just inform you of some areas that you should take note of, and I carry on explaining uh, where it around each domain is and where Torbrand is and say don't go there. <laughs> Never. Out of theoretically my prince, if I were to go there, what would happen? Uh, <laughs> something between instant death or a very quick death. It depends on today. <laughs> I see. I duly duly noted. Duly noted. I Is like there anything else I should know? Mm. There are some remaining werewolves on the some parts of the swamp, so uh, don't venture there alone. Are they a threat? Nah, they, they were pretty bit up recently. We are going to probably finish them off. I look forward to that, my prince. Jackalor still is here. Yes. He did say that uh, Twitch, Twitch is, is giving him them. problems. Yep. Well, sucks to be a Jackalor then. That's rude. Uh, Demi, give me a 1d10 to see how busy a night at Elysium it is tonight. Pretty hey. busy. Pretty busy. So, uh, I want... Uh, well, first of all, Epic. Is Auspex active for any of this? Generally, Auspex will be active. Big man. Okay. Then I need... Perception alertness rolls from both of you. Um, Demi, are you using the Night Sight? Um, uh, not particularly. Okay. Then Perception Alertness at 8 for you, and at 3 for you, Epic. Nope. Mine was 3? Yeah. 
because you have all the aspects. All the aspects. Lots of ones, though. That's all right. I got two at least. Okay. <clears throat> well, who else would be watching for people showing up? I think that would probably just be Maxim for the most part. Because probably. he's keeping order. Uh, where to? The perception alertness. We're going to say the night side is active for him because it makes sense for him. watching. The okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Demi, you're busy talking to some of the uh, Gangrel and uh, Avians, and you're even probably talking to the Andrew Primogen and uh, Billy, since they frequent Elysium a lot, and mm -hmm. um, you would actually you would just notice that Maxim is gone. You even would see him through the trees talking to someone you haven't seen at Elysium before. Interesting. Uh, you would catch at the edges of your hearing uh, your name mentioned in passing. Sounds like a summon. Going to politely uh, disengage from here to see what's going on there. Okay. As you get uh, nearer, you can tell the uh, person appears very much to still be alive. Cool. Uh, tools do on occasion frequent Elysium with their masters, but this is not one you've seen before. Well, I'll just start walking over that way. I'm not being stealthy or anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's weird. It They both turn to look at you, and from her face you can clearly see that she was expecting to, you know, meet you, but with your empathy, I'm not even going to make you roll for it. There's of a bit of dread there like like going to get a shot when you hate needles you know <laughs> <laughs> hello so who's this maxim he just uh, turns to you and says i don't know Hello there. What would your name be? Uh, hello, you're Vivian, right? Yes. Um, this is probably gonna shock both of you, and I'd really appreciate it if you didn't try to rip me apart, okay? Promise? I glad that backs him. He just shrugs. <laughs> I won't try and tear, tell, tear you apart. <laughs> okay. Um, um, all right. I think I better just um, tell you and we can go from there. Uh, I've kind of come as an emissary from uh, the werewolves to the south of the city. Welcome! Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, nice uh, to meet you! And you, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> I believe you are the person to talk to um uh, the one they have captured said that uh you would be the person that would be a uh, dia uh, most likely to listen to us am i finally here yes jackal you're yes, here yes you are stop interrupting it. oh sure you glance uh, over at maxim captured by the werewolves 
when you glance toward Maxim, you see that the he's just casually taken a step to the side, and he has extended his claws in case, uh... What is probably a werewolf tries to leap at the little mouth girl. <laughs> the little mouth girl does not do anything particular. She views this as negotiations and diplomacy. Uh-huh. So does Maxim. <laughs> he has the claws ready anyway. <laughs> Standard procedure. <laughs> God damn Indeed. it! Um. So, uh, who's who's uh, been captured by the werewolves? Um, uh, heard anything Shortly so far. after us, um, you guys gathered. After, well, I assume you know more about what happened than I do, with the others of their group. Um. Uh, he says he's uh, the prince's uh, diplomat from a clan named yes. Toriador. Ah, I see. We kind of so. put a few holes in him by accident. It... He's still alive, though. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Don't worry. I mean, it's not the first time werewolves have accidentally put holes in people. <laughs> I, I believe I can't comment on that. <laughs> uh, let me well, he one. hasn't died or anything yet. Uh, what did you guys want for him, if you're looking for negotiations or anything? Well, we would be willing to uh, give him back as a sign of goodwill, but we want to actually meet and draw up borders because we are not interested in continuing conflict between us. I think Vivian's eyes might be sparkling. <laughs> Holy crap, the werewolves did a sane! <laughs> <laughs> I will absolutely bring the, everything like that up. That would be wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll definitely see what we can, you know, bring up. I'm not exactly the leader of the vampires or anything, but I'll go talk to everybody, see what we can be do be done. Uh, do you have a vague idea of where the borders are would be? Uh, that would have to. Be specifically discussed with the back leader. Uh, I don't have the authority to make a specific offer yet. Oh, no, 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 I know that. I was actually just wondering for my side on an idea of just an approximation of where you guys want. Not necessarily specifics or anything. Uh, well... Map... General, well, I did. Generally, here along the line of where the Nosferatu domain ends is like this general area is where they would try to draw it. They're, All right. they're so aware that gives the, you a general idea over there. Yeah, they know okay. that the area and especially the sewers beyond there are horribly infested, and let's not try that again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> sure. I'll make sure to bring it up. Uh, do you have any kind of uh, diplomatic meeting place we want to meet up again or anything like that? You seem rather terrified of coming over here. Uh, I believe for now I will be acting as a go-between as long as you can assure that the neutrality of this meeting place is extended to me as well. Okay. I'll make sure to, uh, that that will be a thing, at the very least. Meanwhile, Demi, I think you see Maxim and a couple of other people a ways off through the trees. Feel free to butt in if you wish. I'm gonna keep a close eye, but since Vivian and Maxim are kind of already in this, I'm just going to ask them after it finishes. But I'm gonna keep a close eye. Right. Oh, 
want? Well, oh, well, it was nice meeting you. What's your name? I'm just uh, Vita Wilson of the uh, Glasswalker tribe. Pleased to meet you. I hope we can ha continue having very uh, uh, fruitful discussions from this point on. Me too. She... Yeah, I... What would she do? She probably bows respectfully to you first and then Maxim. And then just... Well, turns around and leaves. It's All at right. that point that I kind of skedaddle over. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> hey, how's that? Apparently, uh... uh... The werewolves are getting uh, more people coming in, but they're more interested in uh, talking rather than apparently, you know, rampaging. I mean, that's nice, I guess. But uh, I thought the plan was to kind of finish them off at this point, wasn't it? There was a plan? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I was more like a subconscious thought. <laughs> Maxi, meanwhile, uh, is just, besides Kavda, just nodding like, yeah, I thought this was a thing too. <laughs> oh, was you thing intend too. to just uh, kill all the werewolves that come this way? Is that correct? I mean, then they can't really pose a threat to us if they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> huh. That is flawless logic. I can't dispute that. Um, I feel like Vivian is going to start going into exactly how much a threat werewolves can be if they really try and you know come in and mass on the city to help them. I mean, I have enough is... occult. I probably know, but you know. Like, we've already... It feels like you need a re uh, uh, of history lesson. <laughs> we're yeah. strong, independent. We defended Houston two times. I think I think we're just a little bit cocky at this point. The thing is, Demi, with Gangrel lore in particular, you would know a few tales in the Dark Age where Gangrel just arrives in a city. Oh yeah, 30, 35, maybe 40 vampires just fucking fortress, overpopulated as fuck with vampires. They pissed off a werewolf set. 60 of those fucks rolled up and killed everything. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, uh, would I know that their population is not at high at all compared to before? It... It hasn't grown as quick, like the proportion to mortal population has gone down. But they haven't really gone yeah. down since Dark Ages. If anything, there probably would be okay. more of them, just not to the same proportion as mortals have expanded their population. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's still a pretty big threat, Demi. Yeah, okay. Especially if uh, Mal... And this is from a different tribe, with, which suggests that it's already started. The tribes are unifying against you. Which is uh, part of what I'm talking to him about, because the others were these things called Wendigo, and according to uh, an antenna, according to our local uh, expert on occult stuff. <laughs> local expert. So we got a different one now, which indicates that uh, they've called for help from other ones, and we want to defuse the situation, <laughs> not make it worse. It's fine, oh, they might have bad. rolled really crap on the luck rolls. Look, I'm just going by logical progression, nothing else. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna like uh, stay silent for like five sec five, ten seconds, like just thinking and I'm like, okay, so since we seem to have differing thoughts, we shouldn't just decide this by our own, but citywide. Yeah, you want the peace, but as Maxim said, and I think probably some others, I, I, we thought the plan was to get them. Yeah, with the werewolves combined together, and it seems that they probably are. Uh, yeah, it's a very dangerous situation, but once again, we will have to decide this sort of equally. 
Well, yeah, that's why it was going to be a meeting. It's not like I'm telling anyone what to do. I'm explaining the viewpoint. Uh, intelligence occult? Yeah. Okay, because I have a uh, scald, I, that gives me another plus one, so I'm just going to put that in. So that's right. uh, eight. Uh, difficulty eight. Yeah, no, my specialty for occult wouldn't apply here. Uh, what is your specialty? Kindred, right? <laughs> Nodest. Nodest? Nodest lore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you don't have a uh, intelligence specialty, right? Because you're a dumb No, my intelligence. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm average. Okay. Fuck uh, off. You vaguely recall something about uh, a group of werewolves called the... Uh, I think they were called the Iron Riders when you would have encountered them. That supposedly live in the cities and uh, use technology and are more familiar. So, if those fucks get involved, you might have a problem because they would be less unfamiliar with cities and how to fight in them. Okay. You mean the uh, orders of men? Well, and that was difficult. He, we're gonna say that he probably ran into one in Victorian times because if he had run into them earlier, he probably wouldn't be alive <laughs> running yeah, after probably, them in the probably, city. Yeah. 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 But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna keep this thought to myself until sort of discussions actually happen. Right. And where would Jackalore's character, William, be on a uh, glorious uh, January night? Uh, With the city probably slowly at getting... Chantry. In the Chantry, it's standard procedure, right? <laughs> yes. Actually, you probably just recently received a report from Sledge that, and he's told you that... Yeah, yeah, he caught a lot of people keeping very careful track and he made sure, like you wanted to get as many of them as possible and he managed to kill everyone watching in a single night. Huh. Can you tell me who, who these people were, Snatch? Uh, he just shrugs. I can give you the bodies, I still have them. Can you give them to me, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll me a luck die, Jackalore. Okay. Shit. Uh, would five be enough? Uh, you know what? Give me a second one. Because there's a second person that you might recognize. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> one of them, carefully examining with aspects, like I told you before. Yeah, looks like uh, they're just these serrated bone blades about two inches long that slide out between the knuckles. So probably a sabata asshole of some description. Uh, okay. Three of them. One of them, uh, well, actually all are dressed semi-decently probably, but uh, other than some weapons like, you know, guns or knives, uh, nothing in particular stands out. But the last one, you remember seeing him with the sheriff? That's one of Kurt's ghouls. <sighs> the plot thickens. <laughs> Just get us uh, sit down, sigh deeply. I guess we're gonna get attacked. Sledge? It's standard procedure. <laughs> Sledge, good job. All hands on deck. In the future, I will uh, rescind the order to kill any uh, watchers of the ch uh, that are watching the chanter. Why? Uh, I have a feeling where some of these were our allies. <laughs> 
he just walks why out with that. Why would our allies ever have watchers on us? <laughs> he just gives you the strangest, most confused look and walks out with that same look still plastered on his place. Does not compute. You blue screen sledge. Wait. Shit. <laughs> 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 Did you mean have allies in the city? Really? <laughs> what treachery is this? <laughs> uh. Can't be. Uh. What do you wish to do after that revelation? We're going to call Kurt. <laughs> Okay. If he's in. Uh, hi, he's in. He's not in. <laughs> One of the ghouls picks up. Yes, hello. And I take I'm message. I'm looking for Kurt. Okay. Um, he's gonna be back in about an hour. I think he went to see the prince, actually. Oh, good. Thank you for your time. Uh, set, uh, sets down the phone. Okay. So. Uh, let's switch over to here. And uh, you said would uh, actually uh, see another vampire arriving and heading right on in past you as you are leaving. on in throws you a glance doesn't say anything I have my shades on so you can't see uh -huh. <laughs> you can't you can't see that you're ogling him uh, greatly you're assuming he hasn't picked the prospects yet you're assuming I care <laughs> Just walks nice in, one. closes the door. Taken. Uh, Kurt walks in. Oh, hello, Kurt. Uh, good evening, Sir Alan. Uh, we seem to have a mild problem. Uh, someone's poaching my domain. And um. I think. The local vampires wouldn't be that stupid, which is why I'm bringing it to you. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't do that. Any suspicion on what would be uh, interfering in, in your domain? Well, I think it might be a setite. They, the men call her the Devil Whore. Yeah, it sounds so tight. So, I can track, or at least try to track down whoever this is, but I get a smidgen violent from what I understand. The bitch has uh, been building an army here. That is worrying. Yes, mildly. It's, from what I understand, just mortals, but it doesn't take long to turn a mortal into a vampire if someone wants to make a fuck ton of shovel heads. And if it isn't a setite, then it's one of those fucks that escaped from Houston when you went to teach them a lesson, looking for a little payback, then it gets really awkward really quick. Yeah, I think we should go on an investigation on that. Uh, like I said, um, I have enough uh, subordinates to handle this myself, but if this blows up, I thought you should know. Especially as, well, personally, I was hoping you would have a problem with me teaching this bitch a lesson personally. 
Well, um, she's on my city and uh, not presenting uh, herself to me, and it's messing with the sheriff. So, I think that lessons are in order. Good, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Uh, I hope you don't mind if I ask Byron for help. Oh, it's fine. Just talk with him and see how, how is his condition, if he's stable enough. I, I guess, sure. I, he did well enough in Houston. Oh yeah, he was in Houston. Yeah, he should probably be fine. Alrighty then. Uh, would you like one of my ghouls to uh, go with you? Nah, I'm. I I think I'm gonna be okay. I have plenty of vampires uh, helping me maintain order. This shouldn't be a problem. And if it is, it's right, not the kind of problem. Famous yeah. last words. Uh huh. I mean, he has no idea what he's going up against, so. Well, uh. I wish you good luck. Uh, I will try to. Yeah. Keep an eye on the city and see if there anything happens to you or if there's any big consequences. Of course, of course. Um, uh, right. I should probably swing up towards the Elysium then. See if I can find Byron. Well, I will uh, see you later then. Have a good night. You too. Heads on out. So, Dad, uh, where are you heading off to after leaving the prince? Um, I... Would I know where Mitchell is? Where he stays, or where uh, he hangs You out or most certainly would not know where his haven is, and... Okay. Some people... You probably know his phone number. Yeah, I would, I would call him. Call him from a payphone. Sure. <laughs> he answers about four or five rings in. Uh, hello? Who's this? It's me, Abraham. Well, Where are you at? Hello, Abraham. How are you doing? Oh, good. Yeah, had my presentation with the prince. It was a. Uh, I think it did. It went pretty well. If I think so myself. Okay. Um. There's probably three more people you want to get the nod from, and they're all gonna be around Elysium at this time of night. I think so. One of them is this little Malkavian girl. She was embraced when she was, like, 11, 12. Don't let a smile fool you. She's dangerous. But generally, she tries to get along with people, so you'll be fine as long as you don't cause trouble. And then Is there she, are... um, crazy? She's Malkavian. You know, Malkavs. <laughs> well, you know, but there's a, there's a range, you know? You know what I'm saying? Not in an obvious way. Okay, so... Right. Uh... Then Continue. there is a um, general elder named Kavdan who pretty much runs things up there along with the uh, little Mal girl. Or at least everyone listens to his opinions and they do things the way he would want them done, I suppose. And the third one is uh, you can kind of manage without, but he's also sort of important. There's this other gangrel elder named Maxim. So is he like what? Some big shot? He's the keeper of Elysium. Ah, uh, okay. 
Anybody else I should know? I should not uh, fuck with? Should give a shit about? Um, the Tremere Regent is a self-serving asshole. And he's kind of pretending to be a team player, but personally, the way I understand it, it's just because everyone else is shitting on him so much he doesn't have a choice. Um, so standard procedure. <laughs> I had to get them even in there somehow. But yeah, sure. Uh, anything else? I, I think that's uh, enough to start. You know the rules of the camera. Or it'll be fine. Right. Uh, when you have time, I would like to meet with you. That would be fine. I suppose I can stop by Lysim in a couple of hours if you're still there. Sure. Catch right. you then. Good night. Good night. Hang up. Notice that Jack Lord didn't even make the top four list. I know. Like when he said, like, there's another one, I was I was thinking fucking Jack Lord, but then no, it's the fucking Max, and I'm like, oh shit, that's a... Oh man. How the mighty have Jack, fallen. Jack has Q fallen. status. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it does act. Yeah, I guess in that sense. He's noted as a threat, but not necessarily someone important, per se. Hmm. Well, sounds like a personal problem. Anyways, um, I guess from here on out, I will probably uh, try to set up my haven, I guess, and where the fuck I'm going to be living, which is probably uh, the business district? Where all the venture are, I'm guessing. Um, it's up to you. Those are just the reserved hunting areas for specific clans. So would it be fine if I set myself somewhere else? Easily. Or what is my common sense telling me? Uh, okay. As long as it's not claimed by a specific clan in virtually every city, yes, you can haven where you want. You don't know the rules of this specific but generally, that kind of uh, living arrangements control, that's probably towards the higher end of Draconian. It's, it would be a rarer yep. thing. Okay. In that case, I'll... Hmm. I'll check out Iberville. Oh, that little spot there. Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, I'm gonna say that you can, for now, easily rent a room while you acquire a permanent uh, apartment of some kind. But, uh, you have a goal, you can just tell him to handle the sunproofing for you if you want. Yeah, I, I tell him that. Hey, he sets to work. So my reigns begins in that sky. <laughs> Iberville. Uh, there it is. That, that tiny place right there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's okay. Mine. Uh, uh, besides that, um... Don't I worry. guess after that, I'll probably go You're to the Tremere Uh Here's the fun part. Um, you need your dude to drive you there unless you're going to walk. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I have suspicion I have, might. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. Hmm. I guess for now, I'll just chill. Hmm. I'll set up my herd, I suppose. Okay. Um, they yeah. are probably coming in together. And 
renting like a apartment for the lot of them during the day. So in the morning sometime. Probably not on a fully uh, night schedule. Sure, uh, I get that set up. Mm -hmm. Give them the go-ahead like, yeah, okay, this is safe, come on over. Is it safe? <laughs> you haven't died yet. It's <laughs> good enough. Oh my fucking and god, I just remembered who the fucking hounds are. Or one of them. Oh, that's fucking choice. <sighs> we got good hounds. We got a good team of hounds. Oh yeah. Fucking insane. That... That's why there's not gonna be any kind of... Well, that's probably part of the reason why you haven't had any problems up to this point, because you have a good team of hounds helping maintain order. And a lot of total successes. Um, okay, so you're burning some time doing that. Jackalore, where are you? Are you yeah. leaving the Chantry? I'm leaving the Chantry, yes. Where are you going? Uh, probably to the... Uh... Does he have a tower yet? He does. Yes. It's been three and a half years. Oh. I will go to the tower then. Meet with the prince. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, you probably reach, uh, the Andy would be taking it easy. So he wouldn't be on the phones. He's still recovering from, yeah, fucking So, the other ghoul would inform you, Bacon, that apparently the region wants a war, war then is, uh, coming over. It's fine. <clears throat> Tell him that I'm uh, available. Just imagining Bacon just sitting there polishing the sword board out of his girl, just waiting for someone to come and see him. <laughs> uh, quite the sight. Quite okay. the sight. You are heading over. What about uh, you, Demi, and you, Epic? Where are you heading over? I you. immediately try and uh, check up on our dear friend Derek. Okay. Uh, he is sipping on a raccoon. With, you can see, even past the fur, the utter disgust on his face. <laughs> and there's a huge slash he's definitely across, alive. across his chest. He's lying on the ground, but he's definitely alive and conscious. He's done good. I then go and switch over to the prince. He's polishing his sword. Uh, I'm going to try and send some thoughts his way. Okay, keep in mind your willpower would have been... would be essentially starting at... You so yeah. give... Oh, trying to auto-succeed or are you going to roll? I think you have to roll. Uh, I'm or... trying to auto-succeed. Uh, I'm not really set. Don't think I'm doing anything in particular right now. This is more or less informing him of uh, what's going down. Yeah. You try to beam his thoughts into his head automatically. Uh, it doesn't seem to work. You're gonna have to roll. Fuck, his stuff went up. Shit. No, he's just at full willpower. I think the last arc, he was generally at less than full for most of it. Oh, that's why. Okay. I didn't know he was le uh, less than full. Um, it's not really worth trying to do too much then. Yeah, you sh you can just try a normal roll for it then. Well, at nine, obviously, and you're still just trying to beam dot, so you don't I'm need to spend of. willpower. Actually, I could do this real quick uh, if it would be all right. I didn't spend my XP on anything. Uh. Would it be alright to spend it on intelligence? Uh, you have five unspent according to this. You need eight to take intelligence to three. Oh shit, you're right. I was thinking, yeah, you're right. My bad. 
For some reason, I was thinking it was two times. That's wrong. No, it's an attribute. It's four times. Oh, you sweet summer nope, child. Nope, never mind. It's all good. Uh, nope. Uh, let's see. Who's near him? Do you have a ghoul or anything? Yeah, there's some ghouls around. Is he near a phone? <laughs> Uh, who? The ghoul or the prince? Prince. Uh, not that uh, you can see. There probably isn't a phone in the actual room where he takes people. That's some sort of set. You're pretty sure. Actually, you, All right. you would know the number you provided. Him. Yep, I know. Uh, I was just asking if he was actually near it. Because if he's not, I'm just going to beam into one of the ghouls. Uh, this is Vivian. Tell the prince to get near a phone. You're going to be calling in a moment. The ghoul awkwardly informs you that apparently the uh, Malkavian is invading his mind and he is really unhappy about this and you should get near a phone because she's about to call. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the phone. I call him up. Okay. I'm just imagining a scene where Maxim just flings you over his back and runs you to the nearest payphone and gives you a bunch of coins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need coins! Take out a little purse with full of little coins. <laughs> Are those silver dollars? Where the fuck do you get those? <laughs> Don't ask questions! <laughs> Maxim has all the questions. <laughs> Vivian. Vivian. I, I, I don't think those go in a payphone. I think they're a different size. Wait, really? Yeah, you need these standard quarters here. Gosh damn it. Thank you. <laughs> I need to get a kitty in my in game. So, <laughs> so I call up I call up again. <laughs> um hello Vivian. Hi Alan. Uh so uh it appears that we may need to have a talk about uh among our the groups of people, uh, I just wish to inform you of uh, certain happenings. Uh, we had a visitor saying that they are part of a group that uh, used to be particularly small in this city. I have no idea if anyone's listening in on this or shit, so mm -hmm. I want to be somewhat careful. Payphones, man. Pretty unlikely, but hey. Yeah, the CIA ain't listening right now. <laughs> Usually it's the NSA, but... Not yet. I think it's the NSA. Yeah, it's... on it too. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, they wish to see about, you know, opening up some talking and such. See about possible, uh, you know, setting boundaries and such. Oh. So much like a fucking. Like, trying uh, to be a mafia. <laughs> Which group? It is either a business to... deal or a mafia deal. Who knows? So, we should get the council. The shadow council. Exactly. <laughs> Do you wish to include some other people in the shadow council if you're gonna gather it? Maxim? Or Mitchell? No, I was, I was thinking on the actual council, the one that we have to pretend that does something. <laughs> <laughs> A government for the people, you say? Not too real, man. Too real. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, I just figured that, you know, it should be decided as a group. That's all. Yeah, let's let everyone on the city uh, have a say on these matters. Uh, it, 
affect us all. You know, I was mostly uh, being vague for your benefit more than anyone making it, but okay. <laughs> we'll sound like a mysterious mafia if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> all right then so uh whatever we get together i'll explain it more in detail uh all right uh you could uh contact theaters and uh we could do this on my place all right uh would you say tomorrow next day uh let's do tomorrow it seems to be something important all right and we'll see everyone uh tomorrow all right uh that is when the hang up will go off right let me i was going to see uh first of all you know since vivian was talking with me uh I would first ask, you know, if I did, I, I wanted to go, but I'd first ask Vivian, like, since this is happening, do you uh, need me for anything? Uh, this, this would be before probably or after that call. Before the call. This would be like uh, when we're still talking. Or or I don't think there's any problems going on per, per se at the moment. Okay, then. Uh, I mean, excuse myself. we'll probably get to, together at some point later. Uh, I'll tell you whenever that is. Um, to talk about, uh, you know, werewolves coming in and, you know, talking, trying to set up some diplomacy, shit like that. Maybe. Right, right. So yeah, uh, when possible, uh, please contact me. In the meantime, yep. uh, goodbye. And I'm going to yep. go back to my place. And since... Since I'm not the greatest with the regent, and I don't really want to go in the actual chantry, I'm going to go back home and see in my own occult library what I can find out more about werewolves and just secure my own knowledge about them. Okay. In particular, I gave you a rundown already. You gave me a rundown, but this is to see any more details or maybe if there's anything else that you may have skipped or etc. Okay. Uh, Good joke. You are essentially re-rolling your role from earlier in the Disney. night so you get uh how much of library you have three yeah you get three extra dice on this but you are rolling at nine now okay fair enough so it's called that's three and five that's eight that would be 11 and since this is now more of a sort of place where i'm actually studying for once like holy shit hold on studying i'm gonna be spending a willpower point <laughs> sure three successes uh, you find a connection, and ooh, Iron Riders, apparently they have recently, since you know, well, after the turn of the century when skyscrapers started going up in some places, started calling themselves the Glasswalkers with greater frequency, and oh, wasn't that what that girl called herself? And oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, they're already involved. Yeah. Shit. They're, they're, yeah, things are already combining and things are going to get possibly hairy. But, yeah. but uh, if peace talks are going on, that's terrific. You would be able, with three successes, you would be able to tell that werewolves do have a problem unifying, but if something does force them to actually unify and go on a fucking crusade at that point, they have a tendency to see it through. It's more the fact that getting the threat to feel big enough for the local groups to come together in some area long enough to obliterate the threat. This means that Vivian is definitely right, actually. Uh, since they have been moving, moving, they're, I'm going to just presume that they're probably in motion and going with Vivian's thing of de-escalating Fighting it now before the unify would actually be a better idea and alternative to fighting in a unified front of werewolves. In particular, so this could... you would be able to tell one more important tidbit. The Vendigo, in particular, and the Octane to a lesser degree, are some of the most reluctant to work with the other tribes, which means that they're desperate if they've involved the others in this. 
but by the right. same token, the others might be more willing to help them. It's more that they're unwilling to ask for. Okay, then. Good to know. Hey. Meanwhile, in Elysium, all the gathered people are uh, discussing something oh, with no. a surprise visitor. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the PCs are there <laughs> to prevent things from... Wait, why am I not there? Uh, you would be back there soon enough, true enough. But, uh, yeah. I'm assuming you're... Uh... Well, yeah, it would be the first logical step. Sure. Since at least one of the primogen is there. So, Vivian is going to be able to talk to Torbrand in a moment. Um, Jackalor was heading to the prince. Um, okay. Um, Dan, you are working on the Haven right now, and uh, Bacon, you have 20 30 minutes before the region shows up in. Is there anything in particular you want to do or someone you want to contact before uh, you have to deal with Jackalore? No, no. I will just prepare myself to talk with the regent. Polish the sword. Get some uh, new oil. It's just not dip. properly polished. Not until it's on fire. Again. <laughs> dip it into salt water to make the wound sting if it pisses you off. <laughs> uh. Okay, and with that, I think we can split the video. And, uh, yeah.